Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Ralph Carlo, the Lil Torquey Pistons Piston Cup Racer number 117. <clears throat> now before I get right into the review, l let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Ralph Carlo is a Bronner Motor Co. Oh, Spark GT Piston Cup Racer that raced for Little Torquey Pistons and bore the number 117. During his death, and has been released in singles and in launchers and multi pack and launchers. And during his death, and this version of Ralph Carlo I got from a Walmart store, or, along with Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen, Kurt with Bug Teeth, and Liability. So, here we've got his packaging and his artwork, the old Cars logo, the red and blue background, and his name, and the metal logo and, and the Mattel logo. And on the back we've got the Mattel logo, the Arsa Network, and it says 2021 Mattel. And we've got Matthew True Blue McCrew, Hall Ingaz, Sheriff, Darla Vanderson, Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen, Marlon Clutches McKay, and Mater. So now let's start on so let's get right in, let me start unboxing. So, during, so, during his appearance in the first Cars movie, he was one of the racers that attended the Dynaco 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season, and, and was one of the racers that got involved into the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And despite getting into the wreck, he was able to continue racing and was able to finish the race. And then he, along with Todd Marcus, Dirk San Diego Stino, Darren Lightfoot, Ernie Gearson, Murray Clutchburn, and Floyd Mulvihill were one and were and Ponchi Wipeout, who I unfortunately don't have were, had returned to Cars 3 with a new body similar to Cal Weathers. And I honestly wish they, Mattel would re-release the Cars 3 version of Ralph Carlo. But do you wish for Cars 3 Ralph Carlo to be re-released? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So, anyhow, Without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his number 117 on his he st headlight stickers, and his blue paint job exterior. And on the hood, we've got the little Torquey Pistons logo. And on the left si on the sides, we've got the red rims on the black wall light your tires, and the number 117, the Little Torquey Pistons logo and the gas caps and, and several continuously see sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Returning Clutch Aid. And on the top we've got another num number 117, No Name Signature. And on, the, and on the trunk we've got the Little Torquey Pistons logo. And on the back side, we've got another little Torquey Pistons logo. 
number 117 on the taillight stickers and on the right side similar design but completely different and the exhaust pipes and under and on the undercarriage it's we have DKG15 P41A made in Thailand and that is it now let's pull up some of the other Brawny Motor Co vehicles we've got Hall and Gaz, an, another Spark, and Ralph Rusty Cornfuel, who is, who are both Brawny Motor Co Spark GTs. Bobby Swift, who is a Spark EA. Matthew Trueblue McCrew, who is a Leeway GT. And Skip Richter, who is a Shin. Shine Drig Senior and some of the other racers that share his body mold like the XL Fijons like Mac Icar Lee Revkins Chuck Armstrong Darren Lightfoot and Todd Marcus Ruby Easy Oaks, who is a Crown Celesta. Kevin Shiftwright, who is a Capital Motors Verve XT. And Aiken Axler, who is a Lux Motors Co. V8 Piston Cup racer. And that is completely it. So what do you guys think? Which... Brawny Motor Co. vehicle is your favorite. Which bought Ralph Carlo body mold is your favorite? And which single should I review next? Should it be Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen? Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen? Kurt with the bug teeth? Or Liability? Let me know what you think in the comments as well as suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, please consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel for public watch time. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!